in filmmaking. This is a term called the foot candle. And the foot candle is the amount of light that a single candle gives off in the radius, a spherical radius of a foot. I decided to light myself by a foot candle tonight. One foot candle. I'm in a mood, in case you couldn't tell. I get this way sometimes. I won't go to the lengths to describe exactly what a mood is, but I'll let you take your best guess. I was actually just getting ready to play a game. I'm a huge gamer, and um, I'm playing this game now. Let me know if you recognize it. That's brownie points if you do. And no cheating. This game first came out when I was... I must have been younger than 10 years old, or around 10 years old. Maybe younger than 15. And it was the type of game that I liked to play, and I'd played others like it. But I'd no, I, just, I, I didn't get started in this one at all. And... Now that I'm playing it now, I have no idea why it took me so long to get into it. This game is so awesome. I freaking love it. A lot of the videos I've made so far have been really dark, and it's been interesting to me because that's just not how I planned it. You know how things don't always quite go the way you planned? But it's kind of nice anyway. I don't mind it. I know it's because of the of the, the, the season here. And that it'll get lighter after winter passes and after spring comes. And so there'll be plenty of light videos, I think. Videos with a lot of light. So I'm enjoying the darkness for now. One thing the foot candle didn't take into account, the term, was occlusion. So you see I have this big piece here of the candle. It's a big piece of wax. And it's occluding the flame. So the camera is seeing less light. And that piece is occluding it than it is when it's not. I learned about occluding from work. 3D terms and rendering techniques and stuff that I really don't completely understand all the time. Or just everything's new, I guess. I can understand something pretty quickly after learning about it, but I'm not a graphics programmer, so it's not in my nature to seek out the latest depth buffer <laughs> the latest depth buffer rendering techniques or whatever goes on in there. I have no idea. I just love to play the games and make them. So I got to talk a little bit with Charlotte tonight. Um, maybe not, I didn't get to talk with her directly. We, we had a few messages and um, I posted a video, I posted a video reply to her video. And um, I was sitting here tonight just kind of thinking about the whole experience and how I watched her videos frequently, repeatedly, over and over a year ago, and since then, more than a year ago and since then, and um, 
just thinking about being here in the community on YouTube, specifically the YouTube trans community, and, you know, I'm meeting so many people that have known me only as Samantha, and that's not been true for most of my life, so just thinking about meeting all these people and then how great it is, and... and how like just realizing that I'm the same person that they're connecting with the same person that they did that or that they would have if they'd met me 5 years ago you know and that really I you know I've changed a lot in my transition in some very specific ways and in other ways I haven't changed at all But thinking about connecting with people, I just felt like, even though it's all kind of impersonal, you know, it's through written word and aliases, unless people, you know, choose otherwise, but still, even so, I still feel like I've been kind of like reaching into my computer, touching the keyboard, and looking at the camera, and reaching through the camera. And through the other person's screen. And then almost touching them, you know? Like the essence of, of another person coming through so strongly. It's just a really nice feeling. So I'm glad to be here. And thank you for watching me. Actually, I want to thank all my subscribers. I've had over a hundred subscribers now. And I've had my videos watched over 3,000 times. And, um... I didn't really know what to expect in terms of, you know, how soon people would, a lot of people would see these, and I don't know if I think 3,000 is a lot, because I see a lot of videos on YouTube that have over 100,000 views, but it, it's, it feels good. It feels good to, to know that, you know, people are interested in listening, or watching, or whatever. So thank you everyone. And I'll see you next time.